from Whitefish, Montana. I am at the Pine Lodge, which sits right on the Whitefish River. Whitefish is very, very far north. In Montana, it sits nearly at the Canadian border and it's about 20 minutes away from Glacier National Park or the west entrance to Glacier National. A lot of people don't think you can get into Glacier National Park in the winter and you can. So I went in, you can only, you can go up to a point where it closes off at going to the Sun Road, which is at Lake McDonald Lodge. And I went in and it was blue skies and sunny and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get some great pictures. And I, as the minute I got as far into the park as you can go, this insane hailstorm hit. There's a video, I'll share it. I thought it would be a good idea to go into the park because the sun came out and instead I'm in the middle of the biggest hailstorm <laughs> ever. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, they're pretty big. Oh my god. What was I thinking? Oh! So, I don't know if you can see it. The ground looks like it's covered in snow. It's pale. There's no service here. And the worst part is the sun was like peeking through and like shining down the lake, but I couldn't get to an overlook that wasn't like, like that with snow to get a photo of it. And then bam, it just started hailing. So, Mother Nature, hard at work. All right, this is gonna sound crazy, I know, but it's a hailstorm and there was just a flash of lightning with thunder. Oh my God. Why do I do this to myself? It's not stopping. Oh. Oh my god, more hikers. All right, seriously important question. Like how often do you get to say, <laughs> I stood in an insane hailstorm in Glacier National Park in the winter. Like I think I need to get out of the car and at least like experience this for 10 seconds. I think 10 seconds is probably enough. What do you think? I'm gonna do it. We're gonna, let's go. Let's just do it, guys. I'm just making sure there's no one coming in because I don't know if they'd be able to see me through this hail. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. I'm right at where going to the Sun Road closes um, for winter. I got, you gotta see like my feet. Oh my God. Oh. Here's the problem. We've got like an inch of hail. I don't feel great about driving in that. That's blue sky, guys. Do you see it? This is ending soon. He's driving fine. Ish. Alright, well... I think it's done. I 
made it to an overlook. There's a little tiny bit of sunlight, not like those blue skies I was seeing earlier, but I'm gonna wait it. I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna give it 15, 20 minutes to see if this changes. Ah, uh, this is like McDonald's. It's so stunning. Um, I can't get down to the shore. That's where all the colored rocks are, but I can't get down there because you guys, I don't wanna fall. Guys, I waited it out. <laughs> it's really cold. It's fine. Ah. <sighs> adventure down to the shore like alone and seriously hoping the bears are not up from hibernation yet I don't think up here they are I know they're coming out of Yellowstone but that's about five hours ago. but wow it feels so much more like rugged and wild in the winter with like the snow covered uh, oh. Unbelievable. Absolutely stunning. Glacier National Park is so absolutely stunning. Most people only come in the summer. There's a road called Going to the Sun Road and it is like this just engineering marvel. And I went last fall and it cuts into the mountains and it goes up all the way to Logan Pass and you go by like alpine lakes that are fed by glaciers. You can see glaciers off in the distance. It's just so stunning. These mountain goats <laughs> basically standing on cliffs. I don't know how they do it. But going to the Sun Road closes in the winter and they don't start plowing it out until about April. I think they've just started some plowing in other places in the park and it will actually take them till almost July to get going to the Sun Road completely plowed out and opened back up for people to drive on. And then it's literally open for like three months and then shuts down again for winter. So winter is legit here. So it was crazy. And this is something they say in Montana that one of the sayings they say out here is if you don't like the weather in Montana, just wait 15 minutes. <laughs> and it's so true. So I, everyone else kind of like booked out, like they were all, they all got in their cars and left and I stayed, I waited it out and it was worth the wait. I had to like fall down a snowbank and <laughs> really like my boots were filled with snow. All I was thinking is like, if I'm on Survivor Man, I'm dying. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> but I got down to the water and the sun came out and I wound up getting some just absolutely beautiful video and photos and just stunning. So if you're ever thinking about coming up to Montana in the winter, do know you can get into Glacier National Park. You can't obviously go in as far as you want, but there is absolutely hiking that you can do inside the park. It is a hiker's park. Aside from going to the Sun Road, which really takes you into the interior of the park, most of Glacier is meant to be explored on foot. Or in the winter, I guess you could snowshoe or cross-country ski. Um, but there is absolutely hiking. You can get down to the lake. It's absolutely beautiful and it looks completely different in the winter. It is, it feels more wild and more rugged and it's worth a visit. And so if you're a skier and you're looking for a trip to come up to Whitefish and do a few days of skiing up at the resort and then spend a little time exploring Glacier National Park, I can't recommend it enough. In the winter, it is a ski town and there is the Whitefish Mountain Resort, which is the most beautiful ski area. It's crazy though, you go up there and it's like, oh my God, it's like you're sitting in the clouds. It's really crazy. So I have 
been out here all week and sort of, I mean, I'm working. So I went into Glacier one day. I went up to the ski resort for one day, getting a lot done here at the property. I miss my puppy. How do I get a new puppy? And then I have to go out of town the next week for work. Ugh, it's terrible. I am actually flying back to New York today, but my um, flight leaves at like 11.30 in the morning mountain time, and I get in at almost one in the morning Eastern Standard Time. So it's gonna be a long day, a lot of flights. There's just no easy way to travel to Whitefish. <laughs> There's like no direct route, so I'm flying from Glacier International Airport, which is in Kalispell, Montana, to Denver, Colorado. From Denver to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then Charlotte, North Carolina, to Buffalo, New York. And eventually, someday, tonight, I will get home. This is what I can tell you. What a beautiful part of the planet Earth this is. It's like these snow-covered peaks and these turquoise blue lakes. It's just so beautiful and the people here are so nice i will say coming up here in the summer is it's packed um they actually have going to the sun road on a reservation system where you've got to win like a lottery basically to get tickets to even drive it and that goes i think through labor day or a little bit after labor day um and, and it's like just at, you can't even you can't get into a restaurant it's so busy here but if you come in the shoulder season, which means like fall, when a lot of people are back in school, totally, totally worth it. Um, risky, risky because sometimes it starts to snow here by like September. You just don't know when you're this far north, but it's been a fun trip. I am excited to get home. I miss the kids, I miss my husband, I miss my dog. And I have sold nothing on eBay this week on Time Away. Most of my last few trips, I've continues, continued selling. Things have continued to sell while I was traveling, not this time. So I gotta go get my butt in gear and get my side hustle going. But another great work trip, I cannot complain. I'm so blessed and lucky to get to go to these places. I work with amazing people. Yeah, I can't complain. So, I am packed up. You can see my suitcase is packed. I am going to head downstairs and check out soon and then head to the airport <laughs> for another long, long day um, on airplanes. Let me know if you have questions about this area or if you're curious about um, planning a vacation up here. I, uh, I would love to share more information. It is such a special place um i don't i think my next trip is going to be up to shenandoah national park and then after that i think i'll be going to rocky mountain national park and up into yellowstone which will be awesome so i have a few trips coming up but i think i'll actually be home for a few weeks which will be nice um i just want more bonding time with my puppy but what an awesome job i have i mean i think back to nine months ago when I was so upset about them calling me back to work. And now I'm like, I'm so glad I'm back to work. I love that I can still sell on eBay and do my regular job. I love that it allows me to see and experience things I probably never would have done in my life otherwise. I wish I could bring my husband. I know that sounds silly. I wish I could bring my husband with me because like we love to travel together and we love the outdoors and national parks and he would love every second of this. And he's home, like, you know, getting the kids on the bus and <laughs> all those things. So, come visit Pine Lodge. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I could have done better on this video, but I was so, I had so much to do, like, work wise in terms of photo and video that I didn't get as much for YouTube. But hopefully, you enjoyed seeing where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I hope your day is going beautifully. I hope your week has been awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.